Today, we're gonna make not two, but three Infection mod fight. The Skull Cord mod, the Fungal Infection Spore, and From Another World to see who's the strongest Infection mod. And first of all, we're gonna give them each one village to infect. So to begin, we're gonna infect this village here with From Another World. So these guys will be assimilated, they're gonna be hidden, but after a certain time, they will reveal itself to infect more stuff. Then in this village, we're gonna summon a Proto Hive Mind and a few mounds to infect the area around these mobs. And to start the third infection, we're gonna go near the bottom of the world inside the Skulk Tomb to unleash the Skulk with the Ancient Node. And now all we have to do is wait and let these infections spread to their own village and see who will dominate this really nice region. The world gen did a really great job. Also, is this? This looks like ancient carving. What the heck? Let's try to get a good view of the battlefield and we're gonna go for a time lapse. <laughs> Alright, I think we've waited almost an hour and oh my god, look at this skulk, how it spread. It even sneaked up behind the spore. Speaking of the spore, oh my god. What in the world? That's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 future seizure. What are they cooking? There's even some skulk here. How's the thing going? Since the last time we've done this, the mods has got new updates. So I'm really hoping we can see some new feature. Yeah, there's a few stuff in here. Hello? <laughs> Hi! Uh, how you doing? What's the mast at? Oh, 1500! That's not bad. There's some sheep or chickens transforming here. They're fighting for the mobs. I also noticed there's a skulk node right here. This makes the skull horde a bit stronger. And like always, there's an archvoker chilling at the top. Hello. Even between species, love always win. Alright, we have our first seizure. Let's see what it does to the land. And there's a big beast over there. What the heck? This is so scary in the distance. Look at the size of this thing. 300 health is so huge. Wait, is that a cow? That's a cow integrated. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it's looking at me. I think this thing could probably take a seizure. Okay, there's a Skulk Enderman somewhere, and there's also bigger mobs spawning for the Skulk Horde, which means their mass has lowered. Wow. Why? Oh, that's interesting. It was at 5,000 something, and now it's 1,500. It's happening. This is. Assimilated Skulk. Oh my god, I wanted to see that. This is from another world. It is assimilating the Skulk itself. Look at it. It's looking directly at them. The thing has found a way to assimilate the Skulk itself. There's a Skulk raid. Where is it? It's here. What are they targeting? The Skulk horn has destroyed an objective. Wait, what? Ah. Wait, that means they can destroy probably the infected Skulk. That's what I'm talking about. These tendrils will kill everything that step on them. I think they're targeting the beds. And there's a Skulk Phantom here doing I don't know what. Since the few updates, all these infection mods are now more infectious. And somehow there's a fire over there. Wait, what happened? <gasps> Wait, the lava source here started a fire that is now destroying the, this guy's tendril. And this Puyor just died. There is a silent war going on here. There's no mobs. It's just like the land itself fighting back. Even nature lava here is fighting the infection. Oh my god, look at that. It's even worse here. It's spreading. The Skulk is getting beaten at his own game. Although it is fighting back. Yep, one block at a time. It is taking back what it's belonged to them. Although they are still struggling. Holy crap. There's not a lot going on for the Spore, except these like 10 seizures waiting for something to happen? What the heck? This is such a massive force. They're just playing the waiting game. They're just accumulating seizures by the numbers. What the heck? Meanwhile, the Skulk is just gaining mass. Look at that. It's even over there. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. Wait, hold on. Something's happening there. The thing has assimilated a bunch of Skulk here. That's all assimilated Skulk. It just doesn't show because it's hidden. But as soon as it detects a mob, it's turning into this white like tripophobia thing. The only thing that can stop them probably is these creepers because they can destroy blocks. Yep, look at that. All of this is assimilated Skulk. It's revealing itself right now. Wait, the seizures are on the move. They're out of their confinement. Where are they going? It's eating everything in this path and is going towards the thing's village. Eating bee bees and along the way. They dug tunnels to just get around. Look at that. The game is starting to lag a lot. It is destroying every block along its way. Yep. What is going on here? This thing does damage. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, so I know what they do now. These guys, they just... <laughs> these, like, airdrop spores, pewers onto things. Emergency heads up on the 
Th this guy just dropped a spewer just right there. I feel like it's just a game of rock, paper, scissors. The skull has the advantage against the spore, but the spore has the advantage against the thing. But the thing has the advantage against the spore, which means it's gonna be a never-ending fight. They're just gonna cycle, and they are so good at spreading that they're just going to infect the whole world. So our best bet is to make them fight in a closed area where they can't spread to like the four corners of the world. So we're gonna make them fight inside the Wither Storm. This is the best enclosed area that I can think of, and it is also a throwback to my other series on my other channel where I infect the infected. And we're gonna start by infecting one side of the center room with the thing. Look at it, it's already doing its job. And on the other side, we already have a proto hive mind with two mounds doing its job. Oh my god, it's already spreading everywhere. And on another end of the center room, we have the skull cord that is slowly taking its place here. And we also have a skull brain node right here. And all we have to do now is to wait for them to infect the inside of the wither storm. And since this is all an enclosed area, there is nowhere they can go except but fight here in the center. There's already... Holy crap, there's already a beast? What? Where do you come from? Did the prowler just merge with a bunch of like pillagers? Well, this guy's already really strong. All right, so the skulk is starting to steep into the main room. Yeah, this whole place is fully infected. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the thing is slowly starting to infect every mob that spawns from the spawners. And this thing is still destroying everything in its past here. And here, oh boy, the tunnel that leads to the skulk is starting to seep into the thing's area. Let's go see what the spore is doing. It is pretty calm here. All right, so the beast has made its way to the center room. Is it me or is it bigger now? I feel like it's bigger. One of the thing had made its way into the tunnels of this. Oh boy, wait. Hold on, there's more things. Started here is destroying the blocks. The skulk is defending its territory. This guy is fleeing for its life. Look at him go. He's just running away. They just ran away and let the skulk do its thing. Wow, that's gonna give more time for the skull to grow. And speaking of growing, oh my god. Look at the spore. They're just, <laughs> they're just stuck here. Now the beast is even more deep in. It killed, <gasps> it killed the spewer and there's an assimilated skulk activator. This guy is just chewing through like all the blocks. And these hardened flesh blocks cannot be converted by the skulk. Oh my god, it's, it's destroying the node. It's literally stepping on it right now. Mobs are starting to spawn. This guy is just suffocating. Oh my god, the skulk is really, really infecting right now. The node is repairing itself just slowly enough so that it, it doesn't like, get touched in the center. It is growing faster than the thing can handle. And what about the spore? Yep, the spore is infecting too. The blocks are starting to turn into like biomass. And we're starting to see some weird like mobs like the vigil here. All right, what is going on here? Oh my god, look at that! I think that thing wants you to subscribe to the channel. I think you should do that. Anyway, let's go see where the infection is at. There's a big war here. If this creeper's land is shot... Oh my god! Oh, but there's no one left to fight. The node is still here. It's still alive. But this beast is way too strong for anything here. Some of the spores are just falling in the hole. Yep, <laughs> they're just jumping down. These guys are trying to attack the command block itself. Well, I think it's time we wake the Wither Storm instead. Let's put a fourth party in this fight. There's like fights everywhere now. There's even Ravagers in the back here. This is soon. This is really soon. There we go. Another huge beach has, oh my god, started to fight. But now it seems like, oh my god, there's some spread here. It is spreading so much. I think that we can add this. Uh, yeah, another layer to the mix. We have another fighter, <laughs> and this guy really, really wants the command block. He's drooling for the command block, literally. This seizure is just on its own mission. I think it wants to go out. It wants to just get out of here. Oh my god, I didn't even notice there's like a tentacle here. Where did it come from? What the heck? I don't know what this seizure is doing, but it's going somewhere. And there's another one coming here. This is bad for the skulk. There's like tentacles everywhere. There's even spore spawning here. I don't know what that beast wants. But there's lava there. It should be careful. If it steps in lava, it's probably dead. Wait. The beast is gonna die. It's gonna go in lava. It's gonna kill itself. Yep, it's stuck in lava. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. That's a big chunk out of the thing that is missing now. Because it will die. Yep, it's dead. And this guy is fighting the seizure. Well, was fighting the seizure. There's only one last thing to do. Is to put the Wither Storm in the last phase. And there we go, he's already eating the seizure. It just let go. It just let go. Oh, they're taking it back. 
There we go. And oh my god, these guys just woke up. They can't do anything against this since it's blocks. Yeah, it just goes straight through it. And it's gonna get attacked and killed by these tentacles. Oh my god, they're so freaky. Holy crap. So this is what happened when infection mods fight inside the Wither Storm. I think these infection mods has been fighting each other for way too long. Next time, we're gonna make them team up against something else. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.